This add-on is a bit more challenging. The video will guide you through it to help you complete the difficult parts. When you're finished, the narrator's mouth will move while it talks about the dinosaur. First, write the code that will make the narrator's mouth move. If you click on the Costumes tab, you'll notice the narrator has three costumes. Click between them, and it looks like he's talking. Now go back to the Scripts tab and click on the Looks menu to find the next costume block. Click on it to switch costumes. To switch costumes without having to keep clicking on the block, place it inside a loop. Cool, now test the code by clicking on it. The mouth moves, but it's really fast. Adding a weight block and tinkering with its value will make the mouth move slower. Great. The Say for a Number of Seconds block shows a speech bubble for the specified number of seconds. To test just this piece of code, temporarily remove it from the rest of the code, then run it. That doesn't look right. The Say for a Number of Seconds block causes the speech bubble to show up, stay for a few seconds, then disappear, and only then does the code start running. The Say block, on the other hand, makes the speech bubble show up and remain visible until the next Say block is run. Placing the animation code under the Say block makes the speech bubble remain in place while the narrator's mouth moves. Test it by clicking on the code. Cool, this works. But wait, there's one problem. The narrator doesn't stop saying, this dinosaur's name is Dino, even after the mouth stops moving. To make the say block disappear, add a second say block after the code that makes the narrator's mouth move, and leave the space that tells the character what to say empty. Cool, click on the code to watch it work. The narrator says, this dinosaur's name is Dino, while the mouth moves, and then stops. Great. This code would get really long and hard to read if you had to insert this code block every time the dinosaur does something. Animate the Narrator Part 2 will show you how to create your own block that will make the narrator talk while its mouth is moving, so you can use a single block instead of multiple ones each time the narrator speaks in your story. Now it's your turn. Use a repeat loop, a next costume block, and a wait block to animate the narrator's mouth. Then swap the Save for 2 Seconds block with the say block and place it above the animation code. Then finally, add an empty say block to the end of the animation code to make the speech bubble disappear.